So I'll bring you on on the, the fire fixing. Um, here is the the fire, and obviously the hearth. Now um, down on the floor here, worked out where it's got to be. Um, it's like 225 from the front and 150 from the sides. So that's, that's in the middle of this hearth. And uh, what I've done, there doesn't seem to be any sort of fixings on the fire itself. So I've made these uh bits of uh, square tube and welded a kind of thing on the bottom so i'm thinking that what we'll do is uh just uh put a raw plug in the screw and hold that on and the, the fire will actually just drop down on top of these so there's four of them so i've marked out the holes so yeah drill um, screw these down and then put the fire on top and I'm hoping that will be enough to hold the fire in place but if it's not for whatever reason we can always just uh, literally drill drill through the side of a couple of the legs and just put a bolt all the way through but uh, I'm hoping that they're going to be tall enough so that the fire can't tip uh, sitting on those those squares Place is in place uh, nesting on those four lugs and I also tapped a uh, M5 bolt through the back left and the front right into both the leg and the support so uh, that isn't going anywhere anymore that's fine the dollar this time is uh, make or break we're gonna go through the roof um, I've done a lot of marking out and I've gone as far as to drill a, a pilot hole where I think the flue is going to end up um, out through the deck so uh, pretty certain that we're going to be okay that's the inner plate that's the water pump thank you right <clears throat> so now uh, I think that's where we worked out plumbed up where the actual direct flue is and we've just got to do a little kink you can stare at it all day long and measure all day long but in the end you've got to cut something out so uh, i think we're just gonna to have to uh, to go for it and uh, and see what happens <laughs> Oh. Well, that was really weird. Big hole in me boat. Right. Okay, so that was really weird. Um, yeah, it just uh, it seemed to go really well one minute, and the next minute it's like hit a really tough piece of steel, and then didn't want to cut, and it was all, all a bit weird. But hey, uh, we're through now. Okay, big hole cut, and uh, what we need to do is and get this flute to fit. Right. Where was I before the battery cut out? Very rudely. Right, Vic cast black fire cement. Um, so I'm splitting that all around the inside of there. Okay. So tip to myself is don't put too much of this stuff in. May have to be some oops oh, that's in good that is in one Ooh. 
Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are thinking that, well, ooh, it's got to be twin wall flu and all this sort of stuff, um, which I think for a multi fuel, fuel stove, you have to have twin wall flu, uh, twin wall flu. But for um, diesel stoves, it seems to be that the regulations are different and you don't have to. Oh, Jesus, come on. Right, so that's our bendy bit together. Okay, I was saying, uh, for, any, for peeps who are sort of going, uh, oh, you've got a twin wheel flu and all this sort of stuff, um, I've, I've, I've done my research and, uh, you know, things like reflex um, diesel stoves um, are designed to have single wall flues and the regulations allow it. So um, this is what I'm told. Anyway, so um, uh, this is the, obviously the, the size of flue, uh, like 80, 80 mil, that, that goes in directly into the top of that pipe. It's the pipe that, that came out of the boat originally, uh, not this stuff, but the, the straight bit is. And uh, so I'm, I'm sticking with it because it's, it's what the fire was designed to have. So I'll fit a couple of carbon monoxide detectors around it and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. But uh, I think it should be good. It's what it's designed to have. So here we go. Right, okay, um, that's that bit together. Uh, I need to now cut the long piece of flue pipe to fit into that. Okay, here is the final fitted fire. Uh, put the flue in. Um, it's a bunch of bits just to get it to kink over a little bit. I have yet to fill this void with um, some fireboard and just need to screw this decorative piece up. Had a bit of a blowy night and the old uh, ropes were creaking and stuff. Um, but it's a nice, nice day today, no sign of me swans. Oh yes, they're up there, they're up there. They'll be down in a minute for their breakfast, so that's good. Okay, so I just want to show you what I did last, yesterday rather, uh, on the outside. So that's our stainless steel, uh, I can't remember what you call it, it's the hull fitting for the, for the uh, flue. And that was the original flue top, so that just pops on and off like that. So. Uh, not that it's very tall actually, uh, I have to measure that, but I think it actually might be uh, less than the actual height of the wheelhouse, so it could be that we can leave it in there and don't need to take it out at all. Well, it's a good early warning, I'm about to smash the wheelhouse. Roof off. Right, okay, this is fireboard. Um, what you're going to do, uh, luckily this is about the right size, this colander, which is bloody, ooh, bloody handy. Um, Um, yeah, fire brick, fire board, uh, it's 25 millimetres thick, so I'm going to do two. Yeah, there's two reasons for doing that. Um, one is that obviously this is a you know, fireproof material, going to stop uh, any nonsense there in that void, but also it's a bit of stuff that's going to um, take place of the insulation, so hopefully you won't have that, that really cold bit of roof. Mature to swan shot, people the same. Summer, the uh, they they turn their nose up at these kind of hula cheerio things. Uh, but it's winter now, and they're yumming them up. So it tells you something. These guys are really hungry. Okay, <clears throat> that's the first ring in. I've stuck it to the roof of the boat with um, this uh, plumber's. Plumber silicon, heat proof silicon, and I've left a, a gap around the, the flue anyway, so uh, that's got uh, at least 50 mil now of, of uh, fire brick between the flue and anything flammable. There's the uh, 
vermiculite board in. Um, I've just put a couple of little bits either side so that when I screw this up it's all going to just hold it tight against the roof. Hearth complete, fire in, flew on. A nice little creamy bit of the top Let's cover the gargantuan hole up there. But I mean, for a total outlay of about, uh, I suppose I think I spent 150 quid, maybe two, including the bits of flu and whatever. So, not bad for 200 quid. <laughs> saga following our pulse jet jumping fire storm night um decided that uh, really there must be something wrong with the controller so um uh cut a long story short i've installed a new controller this is a toby dvr um used for amongst other things um oil fired argus so there's lots of them around and it does with a bit of mm, a bit of um, playing around it does fit and the result is for the first time you can't probably see in there but uh, yeah for the first time in reasonably cold day I've been toasty warm on this boat it's been the story of the cabola old english is uh come full circle it's in it's working really really happy with it